Hi, I'm Doug Rost. Uh, today I'm going to be putting on a new, uh, this is a Neutrino. Um, they call it a integrated power distribution and control system. Uh, what the, this is state of the art. This is the latest thing on Web Bike World. Uh, they named this as a 2014 product of the year. This thing has gotten a lot of um, a lot of recognition, uh, and a lot of interest on the web, so I'm very curious to see how this is going to go. Basically, um, I've got a lot of um, a lot of accessories on the bike: um, driving lights, fog lights, uh, amplifier, um, heated several heated gears, uh, GPS, phone, satellite radio. So on and all of that I've got going into a separate fuse box. I've got the SunTech CP1, and the reason I did that is basically to isolate all the electrical that I'm putting into it separate from the bike. If I screw something up, it's not going to affect the bike. The bike is still going to run. Just everything that I did isn't going to work. Fine. What this that and that's using, like I said, the SunTech, which is old technology. This is using fuses, and you're limited to what it can handle that's it this is this is essentially like a computer um, every, this is going to replace that we're going to open the box we get the unit and it comes with an installation guide um, the owner's manual you have to download and print that out one correction i found that needs to be made on here they have on step nine that you go to uh, arboreal.systems.com slash support to get this. That's an improper link. Here is the correct link, um, and that'll get you the owner's manual. Um, but what this is going to do, this is going to replace the Sentec. All my accessories are going to plug into here, and then this is going to get controlled by an app on my phone. Um, this works with both iPhones and Android based and the beauty is it controls it by actually giving you switches. The phone is going to have programmable switches on it that you can set as either an on off switch, you can do a slide power like, like a rheostat where you're adjusting the, uh, the power to it which is going to be great for heated gear. You can adjust the, the power to the heated gear, you can adjust your lights if you want to dim them. Um, and a big thing is, as time goes on, it can get updates and get actually more features. Um, I'll go into another video on how it actually works, but essentially, since there's no fuses, on the app on the smartphone, you're going through it and you're identifying what amperage you want each of these to kick off at. And if something flips, you're not replacing something, you're not looking for another fuse, you're resetting it and you're going on. So, really a slick system, very excited to get this in, and um, that's what we're going to do today. Alright, um, first impressions of the unit, this thing uh, looks to be really rock solid. Um, I mean, it's a very clean, cleanly manufactured piece. Got a, quite a bit of weight to it. Um, thick quality wires are using, connections, everything looks good. Uh, what we're going to do is first take apart what I've got in there. And um, anytime that I'm hooking stuff up, uh, I've got one of those Brother P-Touch label makers. Label the crap out of everything because you get these bird nests and obviously um, it can get a little confusing and this way everything is properly uh, identified. So first is to get the rat nest out of here. And uh, I'll go through and just disconnect everything, take all of this off, clean this up a bit, uh, which will be really fun to watch, so I'll skip you the, the, the boring details. Uh, but this is all going to get cleaned up. And then it's really pretty much going to be a straightforward installation. I mean, we've got going right to the battery, um, your uh, positive and negative. Um, and there's also a, uh, a temperature probe which we're going to install and we're going to snake that through some of the fairing and get that mounted away from the heat of the engine but uh, actually may even come up over here 
That I think will even be better. Um, pop it out over here underneath the seat, which will work good. Uh, away from the heat and that'll give me temperature reading outside, very nice. Um, and then the yellow wire we're going to hook into um, a switched uh, device, which the, the best is the brake lights. And I've already got one coming off of uh, the Sentex. So that way everything turns on and off with the, uh, with the bike. Um, piece of cake, here we go. Now that we have the Neutrino hooked up, uh, all the wiring is set, uh, we want to configure the phone to it. So we turn the bike on, the Neutrino has to be powered up. The clicking you're hearing in the background is my ABS trying to set itself. From the home screen, we're going to see that we have six buttons. We also have speedometer, clock, the current volts of the bike, our heading, our altitude, and the outdoor air temperature uh, that is used through a temperature probe that comes off of the Neutrino. I have it here routed back to the back of the bike, away from any heat. Configuring this is very simple. If we select one of the items, it's going to give us this screen that allows us to obviously turn it on and off. And But we can change that with this button here that says switched. Change it to PWM and we can incrementally change the amount of power going to it, either tapping plus or minus or just sliding it. This is terrific for heated gear if you want to adjust the amount of heat getting to your item or for lights if you want to dim them. We also have a circuit memory so that if we turn the bike off, when we turn the bike on it will automatically remember what the last setting was and go right to that and that can be turned on or off. We have the miles per hour and the clock this hasn't changed up here and we also have this gear which is for the settings of that switch we can change the name of it we can use this auto control which is probably my favorite feature in this. Um, because there is the temperature probe, you can utilize that to select a temperature value, let's say 41 degrees, and at that temperature, your gloves will automatically turn on to 40%. That's fantastic. I really like that feature, that's great. The, they are going to be expanding on that, they're working on it now, so that it is also uh, giving you the opportunity to turn the circuit on or off based on the um, uh, dusk or dawn. So if you want your lights to automatically come on at dusk, they'll have that worked in. Circuit breaker setting. Here is where we are going to adjust it. No more fuses. This is state of the art here. We just set what circuit we want it to be and it verifies it here in this information. Off timer setting. This is where you can configure if you want the this circuit to turn on or off with the ignition, that's where I have it set now, or if you want to delay before it turns it off. Going back, we see that the name has changed. And back to the home screen. Because we have it turned on, it's now showing us by changing the color bar. And it is not on or off. It is about 55-60% value. So the, the color is corresponding to that. We have, if we select the volts, we're going to get an overview of everything we have hooked up. It's verifying what is turned on. It's showing you here what that current draw is in amps. 
what the breakers are set at, what that totals, what your total draw is currently with everything that is on. And this is an, a fantastic feature. This is the alarm volts. So you can set this so that at this value, when the battery gets to, in this case, 10.5 volts, it's going to give you an alarm. Furthermore, if it drops one volt beyond that, down to 9.5 volts, it's going to automatically shut down the neutrino so that whatever is drawing your battery isn't going to completely drain it. That's a great safety feature. Now when and a circuit is turned on, we can see that that circuit has an LED lit up next to it verifying that that circuit is on and it's a color coded LED so it's telling you that that circuit is running okay, there's, there's no problems with it. Coming out from the neutrino we have this whip and this is the radio, this is the antenna <clears throat> that connects to your phone. And the reason they put it on a whip is so that if you're uh, riding a GS, you're doing a lot of off-road, you have a lot of uh, debris, dust, water, whatnot, you want to mount this into a secure location, you can. If you want to put this in a box so that it is protected, you can, and you can have this whip outside of it. If this is in a metal box, you're not going to want this in there. It's going to affect the signal. So that is a great feature that's been included into it. We also have a couple ground points that are on the power bar. And we have this one here that says battery. This allows you, as what I've done, to hook in a plug outside the bike for plugging a trickle charger in. That way it is going bypassing this and going straight through right to the battery. Great feature. We also have the settings button so you can adjust feet, meters, miles per hour, so on. Tells you what the software version is and it gives you what the sunrise and sunset is. Now the way they're calculating sunrise and sunset is not by getting that information from a weather service. Instead, they're using it by identifying what your GPS coordinates are and it is based on that. So that's the setup. Um, I'm really pleased with it. I've used it. Uh, on a few rides now and I think it's terrific. Uh, I'm very impressed with it. I really like the fact that they can modify the software just through pushing a new updated app into your phone that are going to that's going to give you additional features. I know they're working on uh, additional ones now and it is it is really light years beyond anything else out there. This is this is really a terrific item. Uh, very pleased with it. Uh, you do need to, because it is your, using your phone, you're either going to use it with bare hands or you're going to use it with gloves that have touch-sensitive touch uh, fingertips on them in order to utilize that. You could use a stylus, hopefully you're not using that while riding, but the buttons are big enough that with today's modern gloves that have the touch-sensitive fingertips to it, you can select anything without a problem. So that's the Neutrino. Um, again, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. One other thing I wanted to mention is I do still have the Sentec hooked in, and that's only because I've got so much stuff running on this bike. I needed the additional power, and I'm only using this for things that are not switched. So my satellite radio, there's no need to turn that on and off. My GPS, things like that. A couple additional things. Um, this is really being used as uh, a controller. It is monitoring and manipulating the power to the, the key things that I need to, and it's doing a great job. Uh, I highly recommend it. This is great. If you've got uh, similar uh, experience with it, we'd certainly love to hear it. Give us your thoughts, ask questions. 
we'd be uh, happy to answer, uh, do whatever we can. Thanks for watching.